So I wanted to uh, give you a quick update on the uh, Thailand travel restrictions and uh, what's going on with the COVID situation. There is quite a bit of news, so um, if you don't mind, I'm going to do uh, read off my notes here. So on Monday, uh, which is today here for us uh, in the U.S., uh, Thailand reported a record number of cases again. Uh, we're just hitting new records almost every single day. And uh, there is, uh, again, over 10,000 confirmed cases of COVID uh, that were registered on Monday. And uh, it looks like 11,784 confirmed COVID cases with 81 deaths. Uh, the numbers have been uh, creeping up on a daily basis here for the last 10 days. And um, it may be a few more days of uh, these kind of numbers uh, because the restrictions on travel and moving about uh, during the curfew period um, takes a few days to go into effect, right? So most of Thailand's in the dark red area or zones and um, there's just only like I think three areas that are not in the deep dark red and those are kind of like in the northeast, north, uh, northwest area and then there's one other area I think closer to the um, um, uh, Lao border. Um, basically, uh, Thais are being told not to leave the residence unless it's absolutely necessary. And uh, I believe starting tomorrow or Wednesday, they're going to suspend most domestic flights. Um, shopping malls are now closed. As we already know, bars, pubs, uh, entertainment venues, um, and nightclubs and other places have already been closed a while ago. But uh, shopping malls now are now closed until further notice. Now the curfew, uh, in case you don't know, uh, the curfew is set for 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. Um, you have to have a valid reason for that travel period. And uh, you have to prove basically um, that it's an emergency for your travel. Um, and they are having uh, people check and have a number of checkpoints at those hours. And I believe um, just yesterday alone, they've had um, over 40 people cited or arrested or charged uh, with traveling between 9 p.m. for 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. without without an actual valid reason. Now, uh, on some good news, um, the Phuket sandbox model, along with the Koh Samui sandbox model, that started a couple weeks after they after the Phuket model seems to be working pretty well except for that one minor hiccup um, with the tourists that came from Dubai uh, for the most part uh, everything has gone really well on the Phuket sandbox model um, they said that as of yesterday or the this last weekend that they had confirmed over 200,000 hotel confirmations that have already been booked for Phuket so those are pretty good numbers um, Phuket is the largest island by by quite a bit over even Chiang Mai or um, uh, uh, Koh Chang I mean and uh, it's a very large island uh, there's a lot of hotels it's the number one tourist destination and they've been really struggling and hurt by the pandemic and they really really solely rely on um, tourism to generate revenue and so the Phuket sandbox model has been um, a good start and they hope it continues and the word from the government is that they have no intentions of stopping the sandbox model that uh, regardless of these numbers going up they're going to continue to allow the sandbox model to progress because they feel like there needs to be some sort of movement moving forward that they can't be in this you know 18 month period where there's a lockdown in place with no end in sight and so even if it's small baby steps, they want to make sure that they're moving toward the right direction of getting tourism off the ground, even if it's a very slow, uh, methodical approach. And so, so far, the uh, Phuket uh, sandbox model is looking pretty good. The Koh Samui model just started not too long ago, and it looks like it's uh, doing pretty good. They don't have nearly the number of reservations, the numbers of people coming in, but they expect the numbers to keep on going up. Now, regarding the uh, opening for foreign tourism, um, you know, they had called the 120-day plan, which basically, uh, back when it was uh, discussed and put into place, uh, basically said that uh, they wanted to open up uh, Thailand to foreigners 
uh, traveling or wanting to travel into Thailand uh, by October. And um, all the government officials that are, are in that committee um, that are looking to get that off the ground and make that a reality have basically continued to stay even during this uh, third and fourth wave of infections uh, with the Delta variant and, and other variants that are coming through here that um, that uh, it's on, uh, you know, it's progressing and that uh, there is no intentions of delaying that. And they're continually telling people, hey, plan on coming into Thailand uh, beginning in October. Uh, we do have a 120 day period where we're getting everything ready to allow foreigners to get back into Thailand because foreign tourism is such a big GDP portion of uh, Thailand's economy. And so the plans are to continue to move forward with that plan. Uh, plans are to open up in October and uh, they don't plan on delaying it or moving it out any longer or further out than the October period that was initially put in place. So that's a little bit about what's going on in Thailand. Uh, once I get further information or any new relevant information, I'll go ahead and uh, do another video here. But that's uh, a little bit of the information right now. Uh, the numbers are not looking good. And although the restrictions have been put in place uh, since a few days back, um, we know that uh, there is kind of that delay in terms of infection rates numbers going up uh, until uh, you know, at least a full week after restrictions have been put in place because there's kind of the delayed uh, response to delayed numbers in terms of that um, uh, restrictions that were put in place. So we expect the numbers of infection rates and deaths to still be at where it's at or even slightly climb. And hopefully uh, in the next week or two, uh, the numbers stabilize and start going down. So that's uh, a little bit of information for now. And I'll be back in touch uh, when I have further information to provide you guys.